Agriculture has always been an important part of the economy of Crimea. Modern developments in the agricultural sector require active introduction of innovations and a continued provision of highly qualified professionals. The Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management of Vernadsky Crimean Federal University provides education in a wide range of areas through integration of educational, research and innovation activities, which is the major factor in building competence of future professionals who will help to accelerate the introduction of new technologies and advances in the science of agriculture and environmental management into practice. The first degree programs in agriculture at higher education level in Crimea were launched at the Faculty of Agriculture of Taurida University, which was established in 1918, and subsequently, in May 1922, became the Crimean Independent Higher Institute of Agricultural Sciences. In 1936, it was renamed Crimean Agricultural Institute. In the post-war years, it took a lot of efforts for students and staff to rebuild destroyed and damaged campuses. Restored out of ruins, the institute rapidly developed into one of the leading agricultural education institutions in the Soviet Union. In 1997, it was made the Crimean State Agricultural University. Later, in 2003, it was renamed the Crimean Agrotechnological University. Over the years, the university has produced more than 50,000 graduates in agriculture, forestry and veterinary medicine. More than 500 of them were international students from 48 countries from all over the globe. A number of its former students have gone on to become distinguished scientists and prominent professionals. Among them are honored scientists, engineers and educators of the Soviet Union, Ukraine and Crimea, Professor Bolgarev, Academician Mazlumov, corresponding members of the Academy of Agricultural Sciences of the Soviet Union, Kolesnikov and Dolgilevich, Academicians Geneev and other men, and many others. Eight graduates of the university were awarded the Hero of Socialist Labor title for their outstanding contributions to the achievements in agriculture. On August 4, 2014, under the order of the government of the Russian Federation, it was incorporated in the newly established Vernadsky Crimean Federal University and renamed the Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management. Currently, it is headed by Director, Candidate of Sciences in Economics, Associate Professor Sergei Dodonov. Today, the Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management is an integrated in educational and research institution with more than a thousand staff. Over 800 staff are involved in training and production process and research. About 2,000 of them are the academic staff members, among them are honored scientists, engineers, educators and corresponding members of the sector-related academies of sciences. The Academy currently offers bachelor's and specialist degree programs in 11 subject areas and master's degree programs in 8 areas of study. The Faculty of Agronomy is rightfully considered a higher agricultural education pioneer in Crimea. For over 90 years it has been providing high-quality training in agronomy, horticulture and viticulture. It also provides courses in forestry and landscape architecture. Its graduates are skilled to address a wide range of challenges, including ensuring rational use of forests and protection of their biodiversity, transforming cities, towns and villages into beautiful gardens and grounds, restoration and preservation of Crimea's unique century-old parks. The Faculty of Veterinary Medicine was opened 25 years ago. It offers courses in animal health and diseases, crop and livestock production of high sanitary quality, environmental protection against contamination from livestock production and processing waste, and many others. The Faculty of Land Management and Geodesy was founded in 2010. Although programs in land management and cadastral records and in geodesy and remote sensing were introduced earlier, in 1998. 
the Faculty of Mechanization of Agricultural Production and Technologies for Agricultural Products Processing was established in 2010. It provides programs in three subject areas. The Plant Products Program and the Animal Products Program equip students with the best practices and critical skills in agricultural products processing and production of different types of wines, canned fruit and vegetables, dairy products and essential oils for perfumes and beauty products. The Agricultural Engineering Program covers such areas as upkeep and operation of agricultural vehicles, machinery and processing equipment, and government inspection for occupational health and safety. The Academy also offers postgraduate and doctoral programs. All programs are delivered by highly qualified and experienced academic staff of 23 departments and 23 departments branches at the partner agricultural and manufacturing companies and by research unit staff of the four academies faculties. Training is delivered in a variety of labs, equipped specialist classrooms at student farms and partner companies. The Academy's production facilities, its partnerships with the sector-related companies provide students with the opportunities to gain practical experience, apply the knowledge they have acquired and develop career skills. The Academic Library, with more than 500,000 catalogued items comprising textbooks, training materials, research and fiction books, supports the Academy's teaching, learning, research and administrative activity. It boasts a number of rare books that date back to the 19th century. All reading rooms, campuses and comfortable 450-place residence halls are equipped with desktop computers that have Internet access. An extensive array of sport and leisure activities are offered at the Academy in order to ensure that students are involved, engaged, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and having fun. The Student Sports Club comprises a table tennis and arm wrestling sections, an award-winning volleyball and basketball teams, and men and women football teams, which participate in competitions held at various levels. First-year students are encouraged to join communication events, which are aimed at bringing them together with the Academy's community and each other. The Equestrian Club welcomes everyone who has an interest in the world of horses or wishes to learn horseback riding. The Drama Girls Band, Student Chorus, Theatre Society and Dance Group take part in many local, regional and national events. There is also a student television, which provides coverage of Campus Life, events, news and updates. The staff and students are involved in a number of research and development activities that constitute an important and essential part of the academic process. Their research is driven by the key challenges that the world faces today and has the following main objectives. To acquire new knowledge in science, to develop and conduct applied and fundamental research projects, to improve the existing technologies for agriculture and forestry in Crimea and to develop new ones, to promote health and to prevent and treat animals' diseases, to develop new sorghum varieties, to develop science-intensive projects that serve to promote the economic development of agricultural enterprises and to buttress the country's food security, to ensure the high quality of training offered for future academics and researchers, and to promote the organizational unity in academic and research activities. A number of research divisions and student research groups have been set up within the Academy's departments during the course of their existence, where researchers and students can discuss their projects, share experiences and findings, and learn from each other. The Academy consistently produces more than 300 scientific publications every year. Its representatives participate in conferences and workshops held at regional, national and international levels. Patents are granted regularly for the inventions made at the Academy. Many of the research results have been applied and efficiently implemented in practice. 
The research is organized in the Center for Crop Research and the Center for Livestock Research. The 26 facilities comprising specialist labs, a trial field, grafting facility, garden, vineyard and fruit tree nursery. The lab for infrared drying of agricultural raw materials provides high-quality processing of various plant and animal products. Practical trainings at the lab for mechanobionic research on tillage mechanization provide students with the opportunity to create tools using biological principles found in nature and test their creations in a soil box. The best of these tools are recommended for use in practice. The herd of the Training and Technology Center for Livestock Science currently numbers 1,400 heads, including 540 of breeding females, which produce more than 600 calves per year. Purebred Holsteinized cattle, recognized by their outstanding milk production and high feed efficiency, are bred and raised at the center to furnish students with the examples of high-performing modern-type cattle. A modern integrated facility for breeding and raising high-performance cattle is due to be launched by the Academy in the near future within the Smart Farm project. The Training and Technology Lab for Milk Processing manufactures dairy products such as kefir, sour cream, cottage cheese, milk and butter, whose retail prices are controlled by the government as part of a social welfare policy. The Training and Technology Center for Horticulture promotes the popularity of local agro-producers by supplying organic fruit and vegetables, including potatoes, apples, plums and others, to autumn agricultural fairs. Today, the Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management of Vernadsky Crimean Federal University has as its primary aim to ensure the integration of educational, science, research and innovation activities to enhance the quality of training and to accelerate the introduction of new technologies and advances in the science of agriculture and environmental management into practice through participation in the development of state-run applied and fundamental research programs with a focus on the implementation of the academies and the university's priorities.